Welcome to the channel guys. We are out here in front of the screened in porch, the dog apartment, and the upper deck. And I've just been up there inspecting everything, checking for level. Not good news, man. Not good news. The heat of the summer uh, is still around to deal me some blows. Not so much the heat, but the effects of the heat. And I'm gonna take you up this ladder here in a second and show you what I just witnessed and uh, I can fix it yeah, I'm, I'm, I gotta take some time and process it I'm gonna take you up there and show you and then we're gonna go over there and uncover the deck boards see how they fared they've been covered in a tarp but I've kind of put my foot on there we got some they were green when I got them so they have completely dried out let's go up this ladder and let me show you what I'm talking about At first glance, look down this row. Look at that board down there. Let me see if I can get you down there further. Look how bad that thing worked. Now, I may be able to fix that, putting a row of block there, clamping that and pulling it over, but it looks pretty bad to me. I do believe I have maybe one or two more of these uh, two by sixes laying around. I hope so, but uh, yeah. And uh, the rest of them, they, they look pretty good. I've run a level across them, but I did find one other one I will show you. And it is bowed uh, downward. So I may be able to pull this off, flip it, but I will show you what I mean. These, look at, look at the gap there. And it gets bigger as you go down. I can't have that. So now if I spread across to these, we're getting level. But that's an issue. That is not gonna fly, because then what you'll have is a big gap, a big dip in the in the decking, and I don't want that. Now these were all level and straight when I put them up. And I haven't gone down there to look yet, but I think we're fine. Ah, so I'm gonna have a lot of prep work to do. My plan was to get up here and put this first board down And then measure to the house from that end to the house from that end and in the center Get the same measurement so I can continue back to the house. So I imagine I'm gonna have to cut one of them lengthwise I'd rather it be that one And I picked up some more flashing. We got to run flashing along the bottom of this wall here uh, to go so it doesn't drip down that in there. So I also got to put flashing on top of the, uh, I can't think right now, man. <laughs> right there on the house over where the deck goes on. Uh, so these aren't major issues. It's just, you know, I, I plan on coming up here today. <laughs> We're starting to lay down some board and it's probably not going to happen but i but i can get this corrected i read if, if i don't do it now it's never going to get done and the plan was get a couple boards down here with the ladder get that piece of board get the other ones down then i could turn around i've got something to set on while i'm working my way back so and i've got to figure out what i'm going to do down here i can't leave it like that so the weather's pretty decent. Now's the day to do it. So let's go uncover that board and see what we got. slowly peel this off and you know the drill 
There could be critters living under there. This has been covered for five months. This thing is just practically brand new tarp when I put it on there, disintegrated. All right, snakes, critters, whatever. Let's see. There we have it. Most of them look okay. Some of them are a little bowed. I ordered extra length and I ordered extra boards. Guys, that's $750 worth of boards just right there. I do not want to have to buy any more. So we're going to be clamping, screwing. We'll get them to work. But that one there, I don't know. Let them dry out in the sun for a little bit. Uh, they're not as dry as I expected. Oh, the bottom ones are nice and dry. So, yeah, could have been worse, I guess. Man, this summer sucked. We're going to make it work. All right, after looking at this for a while, I discovered something I did forget. And that was to put this joist in the front all the way across. Well, I don't think I have that now. Well, let me tell you what my plans are. And I think this will look even better. I have a 2x12 in the shed. I think I will put... Let me first crawl up here. And I did put one of these deck boards up here. Now, this deck isn't going to happen today. Hopefully tomorrow. But I've got some work to do. So anyway, rather than, I don't know why I was thinking this, but you can see it needs the the, uh, the facing of it put on. Go all the way across 2 by 12 that will come down to about here, sorry, to about here. That will really look nice and I can paint that. Uh, that leaves this gap in here, you know, close off pretty good. So I got to get in the shed, see if I've got that, get that put on, but I'd, I'd rather it you know, and then I got to measure and see if I've got enough of these deck boards. Now I'm believing where I had this bowed one, it isn't going to be that bad. I think I can put three screws here, three screws in that one, and then drill into here, and that will pull that joist up. Uh, but that one down there, I'm going to get some clamps. Oh, sorry guys, the camera works not that good today. I'm gonna get some clamps and try to pull that out the best I can and I think it'll be fine. Uh, you know, they're not gonna be seen. As long as I can see it to nail it, we're good. But once you put some clamps on it, this one's here is real nice and straight. I think we can get that straightened up. But other than that, the only issues I see, I've got to do a little trimming work on that pole where that piece is sticking up. And I want it to overhang. These I ordered these a little longer than what the deck is. And then we'll just take a saw and cut them all off. But yeah, putting this board across the front. And you should have a double board anyway. In between your posts. So that's what we're going to do. That's going to give me... Because where would I put my... You know, if I want to put another post here for the railing, where would I put it? So it definitely needs that. I'm going to make it a 2x12 so it hides everything. And that way we're only about maybe 4 inches down here from the roof. From the screen patio. So, 
if anybody's asking why you know i've had this question come up why did you put why did you just put a roof up here or make this the roof well you can't really do that the way this i had a porch on here before it was i tore it down and this is the way they had it and when you think about it there's really no other way to do it if you want a room below because a deck is not you know water seeps through the cracks in the deck so you've got to have this down here in the shape of this a-frame what are you going to do you know if i was to extend this out in the shape of the a-frame that's going to limit this deck area so uh, you know you're, I've, I've had this in my head for years so you guys will see when i get it done but i think most of these these deck boards are still in really good shape so rather than starting my board here and having to notch it around this pole i'm going to start out here on the outside and then we'll we'll just deal with this when we get to that point i don't know guys i've never built a deck this size so uh, if it if it doesn't i'll tear the whole thing apart if i have to and start over but i don't want to do that man and the weather you know the weather played a big role this should have been done a long time ago but i just can't work in 100 degree heat can't do it it was brutal this year this year so all right man let me look in the shed see what we got see if we can at least get that up if i don't have it i'm afraid it ain't gonna be long enough but we'll see what i got well isn't that just the way things go there's the two by 12 uh it's only 10 feet long i need 16. so i'll probably i can only buy them in 20 foot lengths but i can have them cut them in half for me so i'm gonna go get a and that is not treated which would not be a problem if it was long enough because all i would do is get my torch and i'd burn that dude and it would be black and it would match the rest of it but since i don't have enough I'm going to go tomorrow and get a uh, 20 feet of it. Uh, and there's plenty of things I can do in the meantime, but yeah, that's not going to work. And y'all remember when I did that video a few months back about cleaning out my shed? Yeah. Uh, here we go again. All right, man. And this thing, that mower is the biggest problem. I got to build a little thing to put that riding mower in. It just takes up too much room. You can't get in here and organize nothing. So anyway, I'm going to go get that board tomorrow. I just got back from town. I am not going to town again. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get a bunch of this cleaned up out here. I got stuff laying everywhere. Tarps and jugs. and I've just let things go to pot, man. This pile of scrap. I don't know what. I mean, I'm, I still dip into that and use it. I got two sheets of T111 under there. That could go somewhere else. Uh, the mattress. I need to. I need to fill up a load. Here's what I need to do: get this loaded in the truck, all the junk, and head to the dump first thing in the morning. And then stop and get my lumber. Let's step back and see. These these have only been sitting here about two weeks. Look at them starting to bow, but that's usually not an issue once you screw things down. But I need to get this place cleaned up. It's, it's terrible. I don't have a place like this. Do I, Waldo? And we still got to finish doing the trim on this side here. I've just been lazy, guys. I don't know. But it's, it's still been in the 90s, the mid-90s, and I ain't working in that. But this week temperatures coming down it's gonna start getting nice and i'm gonna start pounding this out because i need to start some other projects don't know what all right let's take a look at the garden real quick i know you guys are probably sick of my garden cayennes are coming back in again with tomatoes yeah we might get them big enough to be of use there's a few coming in on that, but this one here is loaded down. I think we're going to be all right. I come out here yesterday and did a little, did a little work. Oh, this thing, I just watered. It's limpy. Give it a little more water, I guess. I watered last night, but it shouldn't look like that. Oh well, it's that time of year, you don't know what's going on. 
I don't know. I'm gonna start thinking about next year's garden now. Figure out what we'll do. I am gonna continue to grow the herbs. I know that. And uh, yeah, but I think for the most part, the garden's done, man. I never did do nothing with them collard greens. <laughs> this stuff's already growing back. Remember I trimmed it last week? Yep. All right, guys, sorry. I meant to have a good build video today. But I'm, you know, as I said before, I'm filming as it goes. And the trials and tribulations are included in that. And uh, when it's all said and done, I can go back and look. Of course, I hardly ever go back and look at any of my videos. I, I just, it's me. Why do I want to sit there and watch me? But I encourage you to watch them. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed, give me a subscribe, give me a like, give me a like, I don't care. Happy trails.